No matter how dark the night, morning always comes. And our journey begins... We're leaving once you get Donna has left. You saw... Get ready for... I'm going back. Yeah. Most of the other Crusaders have already left. I'll go soon. She was working until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay, I guess I'll just... <sighs> ah, morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Yo, sleepy head. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you. But with all that snoring... Uh, oh! Mmm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you too, Sir Orin? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Thank you. 
off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha! Moonflow baby, here we come! One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear, never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari, lost his horn, next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari, howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> Do those two... Uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But... Uh... It's Kimari's problem. He can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah! I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your Aeons. Well, shall we? Whichever Aeon you want.
Don't hold anything back. Show me what you've learned. That is enough. You're good. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it.
I look forward to meeting you again. Till This is the moon flow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. This is a shoe puff. Whoa! Uh, let's ride! Come on, let's go! All right, we board soon as we ready, huh? Shoe puffs? I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoe puff shook. Yuna fall in water. Shoe puff scoop up Yuna with long nose. Yuna jump in three more times for fun. Kimari worried. Whoops. Yuna had fun. Kimari happy. History lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jack never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. No, I don't think so. It's a bad idea, yes? Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what, we just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that, just... 
It is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Rides is... All aboard! Hey. Huh? Take a look. What? Whoa! A sunken city. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended, and our reward was sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Uh, what could that be? Sit down. Sorry! Ah! The Albed!
Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. <sighs> ah, those out bed. Ish, everybody okay? I I'm sorry, we're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Shoot a full speed ahead. Damn the out bed. What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? What do they have the uniform? Wait, they're mad they lost the tournament. Oh wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. I wonder, didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the outbed are behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. 